Hi, I'm Rev. Wendy Craig Purcell here at the Unity Center in San Diego. Thank you so much for watching today. If you'd like to support the work that we do here, please consider making a contribution. Go to our website. It's easy to do. Thank you in advance for that contribution. So our apologies, you probably noticed that there's a discrepancy with the time on open mic night. I do know that the signups are at 5.30. I know we verbally said it was six and the slide says 6.30. So I'm not sure which time it is, but I know it is on our website and on our calendar, okay? And it should be on our app as well. So it is six, even though this is... Okay, stand up, John Michael, and roll out. Uh, so uh, we, we will begin, the signups will begin at 6.30, but we'll be having some views. By 5.30, signups begin. 6.30, the time slots begin. At 6, we'll start playing music, though, at 6 to get people acclimated and ready to enjoy. Okay, so 6 o'clock, music starts. 6.30, the real show starts. If you want to be the show, be here at 5.30. Right? Did I pass the test? All right. Now I don't have to sing. All right, we're gonna... <laughs> no, I am not gonna be the opening act. Because <laughs> otherwise it'll be the one and only open mic night we ever do. You guys will all go, we're not coming to this thing. Anyway, we're gonna go into our time of prayer and meditation together now. And it's wonderful to be able to laugh together, even when we're laughing at ourselves, right? Because it just opens us up. And so much of our spiritual and personal growth requires that we start with an openness, an open mind, an open heart, an open spirit. So our meditation practice, if you've not been with us before, our meditation practice is a practice of mindfulness, being aware of the breath as we take it into the body and being aware of the breath as we let it go. We also know that that meditation is a practice, mindfulness is a practice, and we might find that our attention just wanders all over the place. As soon as we close our eyes and get quiet, suddenly every random thought pops into our head. And so the practice is to be patient with ourselves, notice when our attention has wandered, and then just very gently bring the attention back to the very next breath. And we keep doing this over and over, and eventually we get much better at being able to have a more quiet mind and a more calm and still um, body and spirit. So go ahead and find a comfortable position in your chair. And if that means you want to move around a bit, feel free to do that. It is beneficial to sit as straight as you can, meaning your back nice and nice and straight and your legs uncrossed, your feet flat on the floor. And some of you I know are young and children, your feet might not fit on the floor, that's okay sit as straight as you can and let your hands rest comfortably in your lap and then just go ahead and close your eyes Jesus had talked about the idea that when we pray we were to go into the closet to shut the door and to pray to our father who sees in secret and that statement like so many of his statements really needs to be appreciated and understood mystically and metaphysically. And so it wasn't a physical room like a closet that he was referring to. It was the idea of turning our attention inward by first shutting out the outer distractions. And so we do that together when we very consciously sit here, when we choose to close our eyes, and to ever so gently move our attention away from all of the demands on our time, all the things we have to do, our problems, our projects, whatever. And we just allow our attention to be present within. And then as we begin to be aware of the breath, we can go deeper into the experience of stillness and openness. So join me now in taking a nice deep breath in, steady breath in, aware of the air filling your lungs. And then as you let that breath go, practice the feeling of letting go, letting go. Take another deep breath in. 
And as you release that breath, practice being right here, this room, this time, this experience. A deep breath in again. And as you let that breath go, practice feeling more open, openness, open mind, open heart. Continue to be with the breath, aware of the inhalation, aware of the exhalation. And as you continue to practice breathing mindfully, allow the sounds of the beautiful chanting that will start in just a moment to just wash over your being. These ancient words about the divine, about spirit, about us. Allowing the words to wash over as you continue to be aware of each breath in and each breath out.
Continuing to be aware of each breath, allow yourself to sink even deeper into stillness and quiet. Perhaps even moving your attention to the area of the heart, the center of your chest. Imagining that each mindful breath is moving in and through the area of the heart, center of your chest. Quiet and peaceful. Breathing in love, breathing out light. Breathing in love. Breathing out light. In the stillness and peace, in the awareness of the heart, if it feels right to you, bring to mind someone or something that you know would benefit from prayer and loving-kindness. Might be a family member or a friend, some situation in the world that is simply unjust. And hold that awareness very gently as you continue to be aware of the breath, the life-giving, energy, the life-giving breath, continuing to breathe in love, continuing to breathe out light, as if every conscious breath is a breath that is healing, is blessing, Breathing in love, breathing out light. With each conscious breath, you as the instrument of that practice are blessed. With each conscious breath, you as the instrument are a blessing. Breathing in love, breathing out light. Practicing now for the next few minutes in complete stillness and silence. Aware of the presence and the power when we join together. In prayer, in faith, in community, in the silence.
continuing to follow the breath as you hear the music fill the room again. Prepare now to enter your, to close your time of meditation, taking a moment just to feel a sense of gratitude. Gratitude for the depth of silence and stillness and whatever that experience brought to you. Grateful for those around you who helped to create this wonderful and rich and deep experience. And go ahead and take a nice deep breath in and let that breath out and let go of anything else that might be troubling you or just on your mind in a heavy way. Another nice deep breath in and out. Maybe even release it with an audible sigh. <sighs> and one more time. <sighs> and amen. Amen. Go ahead and turn to somebody next to you or behind you and greet them with the salutation we love to use in this community. Namaste. The God, the divine in me recognizes and acknowledges that in you. Namaste. 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 All righty. Many people enjoy Reverend Wendy's talks and meditations and aren't able to attend the Unity Center in person. If you're part of our extended family from around the world and would like to help support the Unity Center, please go to our website or download our free app, which offers even more ways to connect with the Unity Center. Namaste. Namaste.